Thank you so very, very much for being here with me, Susan Kathleen, and three absolutely incredible women. And I'm so grateful to be able to have them here on this webinar tonight because we deserve to see these wonderful ladies. And they come from Australia, New Zealand, and actually Vicky's background is in the UK as well. So she's got feet on either side of the ocean like I have. These are very inspirational guest speakers, Vicky Barker, Angela Shi, and Gisa Ellis, who I will be presenting very soon. Now that said, I need to get through with the regular things that we have to do at the beginning of a webinar. And I will read the disclaimer. So basically what we have here is our financial disclaimer. The information provided in this document does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice. And you should not treat any of this document's content as such. Daxi and or its partners do not recommend that any cryptocurrency should be bought, sold, or held by you, and nothing in this presentation should be taken as an offer to buy, sell, or hold cryptocurrency. Do contact, uh, conduct your own due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decision. Now that said, I'm going to get on with the show <laughs> and have my little piece of chat here. I'm Susan Kathleen. I'm a crypto investor, client team leader. And as you see here in this slide, I'm, in, I'm fortunate enough to know this big guy who needs no mention, as I presume most of you know him, as the man with a massive vision that has me and hundreds of others wanting to share it with as many people, both here and globally. I'm a published author, poet, and I've been in the teaching and coaching industry for 40 plus years with a passion for education, women's empowerment, and gender equality. Now I had a couple of slides prepared about financial freedom. Then I thought to myself, Susan, what the heck are you doing? Scrap them and do what we women are good at. Spread the word by storytelling. It was six years ago when my husband of more than 30 years died of cancer that I had for the first time in my life, the ability to deal with my money independently. The fact is, I am a baby boomer, and up until then, even although I was also working, we had a joint bank account which he controlled. You may ask how I allowed this to happen. And this is the deal. From generations of women who once married were not legally allowed to have their own bank account, if you were lucky, it could be arranged through much paperwork that you could have a joint account with your husband or your husband would hand you out a weekly cash allowance for, for housekeeping. And as we called it, feminine smalls. So even that, we had to go with that. So here I am doing my storytelling and I'm going to roar because we are women and we are in a very vibrant circle of women who crypto. And we have very powerful women who back us and support us in women who crypto. So getting back to my feminine smalls, even although I was earning a really incredible income, I still had to have a joint bank account and ask permission to be able to take my money out, buy food, do the stuff that all, all us girls do. I know a lot of men do, but I had to do these things. My mother accepted this, as did her mother, my granny, and so on, and so on, and so on. In many Western world countries, 1970s women were not allowed to own their own homes or go to the pub. And I recall this, 
In fact, it was not until 1974 when the Equal Credit Opportunity Law was passed in the USA were women allowed to have a credit card in that country. In 1975, women in the UK won the right to open a bank account in their own name. That's 15 years after the USA and a staggering 94 years after France. Get that, girls. Here in Australia, women could not get a credit card in their own name and serve on the front lines in 1971, up until then. Actually, women's financial freedom came with the passage in 1974 of the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, which gained, uh, granted women the right to obtain credit cards separate from their husbands. And in many third world countries, this still happens. And when I was working in the Middle East, I was amazed that women there are not allowed to open a bank account without a male guardian, and be it a husband, a father, a brother, or as a widow, your son, if you have one. And if you don't, you'd still have to be subjected to some male in your life, and they still are. And with the event of the internet, digital phones, and now digital currency, cryptocurrency, that has no borders, no rules where a woman must have permission from a third party to open an account. This is empowering and changing women's lives worldwide. They can open an account with their proof of identity and be the master of their own destiny. Cryptocurrency is granting the power and freedom to our fellow woman who then can send their daughters to school because in many countries, girls still are not allowed to be educated. It gives the woman power to educate their feminine line, who consequently are the nurturers, and, and, and they, they, they want to be able to enable and help their offspring, or if they don't have nieces and nephews, and if they don't have those humanitarian-wise to help our future generations into the field of education. It empowers and changes women's lives worldwide. And this is the thing, with cryptocurrency in the digital world, they can open an account with their proof of identity, the identity and be the master of their own destiny. That's powerful. That is powerful. And cryptocurrency is granting this power of freedom to our fellow woman and, and enabling them in, in, to be able to save for their older age. Crypto helps women into uplifting themselves and in sharing their stories of how they have moved into financial freedom with other women. And they are in turn empowered. In the past six years of my 66 years, I've had more financial freedom than I ever have. I've had ups and downs as I had to learn and get this, I had to learn to run my finances on my own. And at times to my demise of depleted savings that left me in a dark place until July, 2019. And that's thanks to that big guy whose photo I shared earlier, his lovely business partner and wife, Vicky, they were the change of me being able to be empowered. They brought cryptocurrency into my life. Prior to that, I had, it, I had attempted to learn how to use it. And I was out there as a very naive 66 year old woman with all sorts of credentials and, 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 um, diplomas and stuff like that but because of my situation and as a baby boomer I had allowed myself to be like this and it was because that is what I'd been conditioned to believe was correct and because of the big guy and his amazing beautiful wife who's right here tonight I entered the world of crypto and I haven't looked back since now, I'm going to move on to somebody incredible. She's quite a heroine to me. So, I would like to introduce you my first guest, Vicky Barker. 
And may I say behind every great man is a powerful woman. And tonight I saw that great man. He's really hairy at the moment. He's got a massive beard. He looks like the abominable snowman dressed in black hair. So Vicky is the chief brand officer and co-founder of Daxi. She is an innovation entrepreneur and an internationally best-selling author on personal development for women. Welcome, Vicky. I'm going to stop the, the screen share now because I would like everybody to get to know you face to face. Gorgeous. Thank so you. thank you, Vicky, for being here. You are such a brilliant woman and such an inspiration to so many of us. That's, that's, that's far too kind, Susan. And honestly, I'm just sitting here listening to your amazing story, which has also been such a great source of inspiration to us. I remember when you first told that story about um, your husband and we, we were all just sort of sitting in the office going, <laughs> oh my God, you know, Susan is our poster girl. She is, she oh. is you know, for, for, for us, um, you've also been, uh, you know, an incredibly um, inspirational um, uh, lady in in our and, and especially we are leading our women in crypto and um we're just we're just so lucky to have you uh, oh, thank you part of this organization so what I, I appreciate that so much vicky what i would like to be able to put right across the 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 world is why woman who crypto give us the background story of how it evolved um well, basically, um, it, it, it's, it started not too soon after we started Daxi. Um, and um, I, I'll, I'll just give you a little bit of background to, to, to how I got, got here and how, then yeah. how we got into to, to Women in Crypto. Um, so you're right. I, I'm originally from the UK. Um, I moved to New Zealand about 20 years ago. Um, I actually came on a holiday, so I've got a big dog here who's pouring me. Um, <laughs> um, and as I say, so I've got four kids, um, and this dog, this dog here is the love of my life and a very disapproving cat. Um, and uh, prior to, to, to New Zealand, I lived in London for 15 years, and I always worked in the fields of sales and marketing. Um, I've always been quite entrepreneurial. Um, I've set up and sold several small businesses in the fields of hospitality, uh, um, beauty, education, advertising, media, um, and I've also written a book uh, in the field of self-development for women. Yes. Uh, and so that's always been a great passion of mine. And about five to six years ago, I suddenly got introduced to the very weird world of cryptocurrency, um, which uh, I became an investor of sorts for the very first time in my life. Um, I just related to absolutely everything that you were saying before um, about how, you know, generally women of our age have been conditioned throughout their lives to, to basically um, avoid anything financial and talking about mm. money, um, much to our detriment, of course. Yeah. And, um, and so um, into the forest I went and back then, six years ago, basically the, the whole crypto industry was, was, was very different to the, to the, the landscape today. So um, it was very much the Wild West. Um, you know, frankly, buying Bitcoin was just a very dodgy experience, which I wouldn't have put anybody through at that stage. It was, it was all horrible. Um, the crypto narrative was basically um, controlled by people who looked and sounded like Martians from another planet. Um, <laughs> and it was just, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was quite a sort of strange place. But and, and, and as such, wasn't a particularly easy concept for me to get my head around at first, but there were a few fundamentals um, that really, really stood out to me. Um, and, you know, it did appear to solve some very sort of real problems. For example, things like remittances and um, obviously the unbanked. From a personal point of view, Ed and I, we've lived here for 20 years, but we've actually never worked in New Zealand. All of our... Um, consultancy work that we've done over the years has always been overseas and so for us we were constantly having to repatriate money back to New Zealand which was just you know frankly a ridiculous mission every time mm. you know it took two to three weeks um you know why why 
you know, when it takes you a second to send a text and an email, surely it's just a flick of a switch. But no, we have this performance every month where I'd be sort of, you know, ringing up the bank saying, oh, where is it? You know, what's happened? And they'd say, oh, da, da, da. oh it's in a holding bank, a holding account down in down in Wellington now. And it, it was like it was like quarantine COVID for money, you know, and it'd <laughs> sit there for two weeks before it was good. Anyway, rubbish. And one day somebody, uh, a guy said to me, well, why don't you just get paid a Bitcoin? And I was like, what? What's that? And he said, he said, look, let me show you how quick it is. And literally he um, downloaded, made me download a wallet onto my phone. And I, um, and he sent me from his phone, he sent me a, uh, a pound's worth of Bitcoin. And, um, and I said, well, how long is this going to take? And literally as soon as he hit the button, it was in my account. And it, it, it didn't matter that I was standing there or I could have been standing on the other side of the world. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. Um, so uh, that sort of got me interested. Um, and then the other sorts of problems that it solved, you know, crypto, you know, for what I could see, as, as you rightly pointed out, Susan, is, you know, the unbanked. So, mm -hmm. so basically, there are, believe it or not, there are one billion women in the world today who are unbanked. You know, the widespread levels of financial disempowerment um, amongst women today is bloody unbelievable, frankly. Mm. Um, and this is the thing, out of those 1 billion women who've got, who, who are, are unbanked, how many of them own mobile phones? And you'll probably find probably about 80% of them. There's more mobile phones in, in India than there is toilets. Um, and suddenly, if they have a mobile phone and you have crypto, you suddenly go from having no bank account to being your own bank account. You go from being completely disempowered to, you know, completely having control over your life. Yeah. And, um, and seeing how crypto solves these problems and brings freedom to people was a complete revelation to me. And that really kickstarted my passion into crypto and subsequently, you know, the birth of Daxi um, and, you know, Women in Crypto, which, which basically um, sat alongside Daxi because uh, obviously we were all extremely passionate about, about give, you know, levelling the playing field and bringing these women in, into, into cryptocurrency. I mean, our mission is basically to, to get as, as, as you know, um, crypto into the hands of as many women as we possibly can around the world. Yep. Vicky, thank you for sharing that with us. What I want to also share with everybody is your ability to create incredible branding. And I would like everybody to know that this amazing woman is the designer of Women Who Crypto's brand and that she is of the Daxi brand and that right up here is with her passion for as many women in the world to be empowered into cryptocurrency in the way that she's described and I described where there are more mobile phones than toilets in India, which I love. <laughs> True. That's a good job because most men sit on the toilet with, with phones, don't they? Just, just, just saying. Um, but just to say that they have the power to open an account and they do not have to go to anybody else. They have this power. So I was actually saying to Vicky earlier on, uh, not today, but uh, when we had a chat a couple of weeks ago, Woman Who Crypto is a passion for me because I look at Woman Who Circle and what Vicky and, and Ed and people and, and Gisa and, and Angela and Catherine in the UK are creating alongside their, the Daxi um, clients, investors, is an incredibly powerful woman circle of women who actually uplift and empower each other into understanding how to use it. And that is powerful. That, and, and, and as far as I know, Vicky was the creator of the very first woman who cryptos um, um, circle in the world. So she is, a, she is an incredible innovator, this woman. So Vicky, when we speak about 
your money freedom and where you discovered this Bitcoin thing that you bought for a pound, which in those days must must uh, must be pretty cool. I know a lot of people who's, who did way back in 1998, 99, and are smiling now. That liberation of not having to deal with the banks in Wellington and places like that, is that part of what you would say an advised woman is the empowerment of money freedom or fiat freedom, cryptocurrency freedom? Yeah, I mean, the whole thing about crypto and, and, and money freedom um, in terms of what it means is, is basically, in a word, control, control over your life. Yeah. And, um, and with that control comes becomes confidence and, you know, certainty. Um, crypto is a really powerful tool in the hands of women who are determined to take more control over their lives. Mm. And I think that we can agree that we live in a really uncertain times at the moment. I'm talking to you here from New Zealand. Um, you know, uh, we're, what we're into our sixth week, Gisa? I don't know where we are, into our fourth, uh, of our fourth lockdown. And she's rolling her eyes and going, so what? I'm into the 12th week uh, of our fourth lockdown. Um, obviously, who could have imagined two years ago um, that this would be our reality today? And, you know, not, not only in, in terms of freedom, not only does a sense of freedom, it sits right at the heart of, you know, our DNA as, as uh, an innate human desire, but also, you know, freedom it's 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 front and center of our minds at the moment being free because covid has eroded our freedoms um you know a lack of data data privacy is eroding our freedoms um and the instability um in the world and the pressure on women as a result of this last year basically i think the investment industry saw the most amount of accounts uh first time accounts that were ever opened up in investment companies, not just crypto, but across the board. And this is because women are suddenly going, hang on a minute, you know, um, you know, I, I don't feel as, as in control um, and certain about my life. And I, I, I probably need to start investing. And I think it, 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 there's no question that it absolutely um, kick-started a massive um, charge into, into crypto and other investments as well. So I think the really beguilingly crap thing is that, you know, financial liter literacy is, is, is not taught at schools, you know, um, mm. and financial health is so critical to our lives. Um, I, was, I was just, I was, I was taught things at school in craft, like how to make a macrame hang, hanging basket. I mean, how bloody useless is that? I was never taught to basically invest, um, you know, anything about finance. Um, and in fact, in the UK, it was actually rather obscene and vulgar to talk about money. You just didn't do it. Um, Absolutely. And so, no lady oh, did. Yes, it's disgusting. We don't talk about it. Um, and so, you know, generational messaging, media messaging, you know, when it comes to finance and money, you know, we're talked to like we're complete twits, you know. Are you a Carrie Bradshaw or a, or a Miranda shopper? Um, I mean, please, uh, for your information, I'm a Samantha shopper, but there you go, that's another story. Um, but uh, discussing money. Uh, so you're gonna have to mute um, people, please, can you mute yourselves? Um, uh, we can hear you in the background. It would be really nice if you did. Thank you. Yeah, carry on, uh, carry on. Vicky. So, 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 you know, discussing about it was, it was so vigorously brushed under the carpet growing up. But I think most of my friends, honestly, um, would have rather have sort of run around Trafalgar Square naked than flash the bank account details at anybody. Yep. That is what it was like growing up. Yep. And so none of us got the memo on investing for our futures. And, and off we go, we, you know, humming this joyful tune, blissfully unaware that we've got this train hurtling towards us, um, thinking that everything was going to be fab in our 50s because our kids are leaving home and it's going to be happy days. The reality is very different often, you know, divorce, um, you know, if you, when your kids do go, sometimes that's the glue that was actually probably hold, holding your marriage together. The kids have gone um, and, and, you know, things change and often you know women find themselves you know on their own and very financially stressed so um 
And I've been there with debt in my life, you know, um, standing at the checkout, hoping my God that my card would go through. And you just get that sick feeling in the pit yeah. of your stomach when you don't have control over your finances. And the truth is, there is no wellness without financial wellness. They go hand Absolutely. in hand. So, um, Vicky, I love that you say that. And I'm going to interject here. Yeah. Um, what I'd love to say to you is your passion and 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 telling these stories because it is all about storytelling and telling your story and sharing it to show that you're not one of those people that is just instantly successful or anything else you had to work to where you are you're in a generation now where you can actually associate you can empathize with people even like me where you say i i'm i'm i realize what has happened is you've got to a certain stage where financially, even though you've worked hard all your life as a mother, a, a, an auntie, a, a whatever, and worked in the work industry, you have nothing now. You've come out with nothing. So this is where okay. I lead to asking you, why, why, why crypto and, and how do you explain to everyone what do you think Daxi does to support women to reach their financial freedom? Okay, well, I mean, f first of all, you know, let's just cut to the chase. Crypto is the best performing asset on the planet by miles, and it has been for the last two years. Um, you know, the rampant printing of money during COVID uh, completely devalued the dollar, um, and, it, and it's shown sort of real flaws um, in our financial systems. Um, have crypto gains outperformed all other asset classes? Yes. Is it volatile? Hell yes. Um, but despite the volatility, the trajectory is like that. Um, and so, you know, I mean, last March, where were we? Um, I think Bitcoin was about $5,300 uh, US. Um, by December, it, it had reached uh, 24,000. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2020, that's an increase from the beginning of the year of two, um, 224,000 um, percent. Sorry, 224 percent. Sorry. Um, and then again in, in April this year, I think it, it hit its peak um, at 63,000. Um, it's, it's now having another correction again. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down, sideways, this, that, and the other. But the bottom line is, in one year, if you'd put money in at the beginning of last year, you would have 10x your money. To think. So, so, you know, as far as, you know, being an incredible, in, you know, um, vehicle for building wealth, um, it's, uh, you know, second to none. The number one focus at Daxi is obviously to build long-term wealth. We are not really focused on crypto trading. Trading is a very, very specialized skill. Um, and uh, it's, it's where you're sort of basically wedded to charts all day and night. It's bloody stressful. I mean, the reality is that 1% really of, of people that trade are, are, are successful. The rest actually aren't really that successful. You never hear of people trading their way into retirement. And for that reason, we, we basically focus on building for the long term. We also only deal in the top coins um, that have a proven history and a strong use case, high liquidity, um, you know, basically what we call the blue chip coins. And thirdly, we basically, we have a, you know, a simple product selection and we group coins into bundles because the bundle approach gives you a diversified portfolio of the top coins. And that approach has been proven to deliver better returns than buying single coins. So all in all, you know, we feel that we, we offer the best crypto, uh, the best that crypto has got to offer. Um, we've got an amazing customer service team. Honestly, they go above and beyond. Um, we are independently rated A, A plus security. Um, it, that's just absolutely, we're, we're obsessed by that. Um, and obviously highly regulated. Um, and we do understand that people need help. So we've got very engaged, unbelievably helpful and friendly community of like-minded people you know we can see robin on there and d and so you know all, all mm. you know all these fabulous amazing people yeah. um and 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 they're all wedded to the same goals of, of of building wealth to enable freedom for a better life and but i think where the rubber really sort of leaves the road is is in our unique educational offering um and so tonight we've got a global director gisa ellison who is amazing um and has got you know 
absolutely tons of experience of building out, you know, fantastic educational systems. And she is building at the moment uh, the most incredible education platform for Daxi. Um, I'm going to let Geese talk about this, obviously. Um, hmm. uh, but there is nothing like this in the crypto industry. And um, basically, you know, it's 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 the whole thing with the education, um, the way we structure the platform, you know, friendly, non-threatening environment. Um, it's an ideal environment in which women can thrive. And as such, we have the highest ratio of women customers on our platform than any platform in the industry by us. 50% of our customers are women, which is unheard of in the industry. Yeah. You know, if they get 5% on their platforms, again, oh, you know, we're so lucky we've got all these women. We've got 50%. And also, you know, the leadership in the company, um, we have got more women leaders in our company um, than any other crypto company um, on the planet. And on top of that, obviously, we run initiatives like this, which is Women in Crypto, which is a face, uh, a, sorry, a safe, fun space, you know, where you can come in, you can ask questions, nobody's going to jargonize you, no questions are stupid, you can connect with people. And, and share their knowledge of blockchain and cryptocurrency, learn from them. And um, it's, you know, with women in crypto, it's a female first community, you know, and, and a, a future focused community where everyone could get involved regardless of, of your knowledge and investment uh, or investment knowledge. Yeah, absolutely, Vicky. And and um, what, I, what I love also is that Daxi is actually supporting and driving Woman who, woman who crypto, which is basically a different entity. So we are promoting woman in a, a, and um, all the hard work that Daxi actually does in the corporate side is supporting this platform, which is separate from yeah. Daxi. And that is very powerful. So we have a powerful woman who crypto, woman who circle, and that is thanks to the support and the sponsorship of how Daxi helps us move forward. And that, and again, with you say 50% of women being able to do this, we are supporting and uplifting each other. And that's not just from the, the investors and the clients or, and our leaders. We call, and for those of you who, who are here who don't know, the Daxi leaders are actually clients. And they, they put out their spare time to be able to help teach other people that come on board. And that is that is a sisterhood as well. And we have an incredible brotherhood as well who do it. There's an amazing crowd of people. Vicky, I'm going to come to an end here with, with you and be able to move into actually chatting to Angela. But before we go, and um, before we, we close out with you, and obviously you're gonna come back at the end of this conversation with, with the other ladies. If you had one piece of advice, what would you give to the, the, the people who are listening tonight and who will be listening to the replay? Um, one piece of advice, I would say get educated and get crypto. Uh, <laughs> knowledge is power and crypto is freedom. And um, I, I'm just going to leave it there because basically I know that Geese is going to probably elaborate on all of this being the, yes. you know, the absolute key expert in this but um and i'm very very lucky to to get to work with these ladies so yeah. um, but that that's it's 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 get yourself educated um that's absolutely vital uh that you that you start to do that and, and you you have all of the resources here at your fingertips to for um you know feel just feel free to reach out um if you need any help as, as Sue says, we are such a supportive community and it's, yeah. it's absolutely beautiful to see. So uh, no scary stuff here. It's all yeah. you know, really, really nice environment for people to come into. Absolutely, Vicky. And thank you so much for, for your inspiration and for what you have actually developed with your vision and for sharing your passion, this dream for Woman Who Crypto and of course for Daxi. So thanks so much, Vicky. Thank you. So and much. now I'm actually going to move on to my second guest speaker. And that is the beautiful, and I'm going to screen share again so that you can get a quick little picture of her because she is exquisite. Um, this is our wonderful Angela Shee. 
and she is from the Daxi Head Office Australia and New Zealand, and she is Head of Finance, and she's our blockchain babe. She is just so knowledgeable in the blockchain, and I'm very proud to be able to have her here. So what I'm going to do is give you a bit of background on her. Angela, she she has 12 years experience in the financial service and trade, trading industry, and she's specialized in financial management, risk control, business, business transformation, and, and treasury. That's our goal. And she's got our back, ladies. She's worked for technology-driven businesses, including those listed on London Stock Exchange and New York Stock Exchange. And she's also provided financial advisory service to a few startup fintech companies in Australia. Get that. Uh, and she's a good, and she's a woman. Angela is passionate about blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. And she's worked in trading businesses where crypto is one of the major asset classes on the platform. And she's my girl. She's my girl after my own heart. She's also a strong advocate that women should have their own financial freedom. So I'm going to stop the screen share here and welcome Angela. Thank you for giving us time and sharing your beautiful self with all of us here tonight. Thanks so much, Suzanne. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Angela, and it's a great pleasure to meet everyone tonight. Um, as Susan mentioned, I joined Taxi Australia as a head of finance a few months ago, and um, I got to know cryptocurrency and blockchain technology back in 2017 um, when I was working at a trading firm, which was one of the few trading firms back then that offered uh, cryptocurrency CFDs, which is contract for differences, as one of their major uh, trading products. Um, I'm a personal crypto investor, and I'm also a blockchain researcher. Um, back to four years ago, there were not many, um, you know, learning materials or the guidance on the cryptocurrencies. Um, so like many of the investors who step into this new market, I was curious on the reason why people are so um, you know, fascinated about cryptocurrencies. So I started doing my own research. Um, and I found one of the reasons that people are so passionate about cryptocurrency is because of this fundamental feature, um, blockchain. So blockchain is a decentralized um, public ledger and cryptos are the digital currencies that use blockchain technology. So comparing to the traditional currencies, digital currencies are safer, uh, secure, and most transparent. So, so my personal point of view is that the cryptocurrencies' long-term values are actually driven by these kind of disruptive um, technology behind them. So uh, I remember back in um, May 2017 when the Bitcoin price was used to be 2,000 USD. I bought my first Bitcoin. And the reason I remember it clearly was because I shared it on my social media accounts. And a number of my friends were asking me, what is Bitcoin? Why did you buy Bitcoin? And after six months, you know, six months later, at the end, uh, at the end of that year, 2017, Bitcoin price went to 20,000 USD, which was, you know, 10 times of my purchase price my friends was like, oh, we should bought, you know, Bitcoin together with you, but we just didn't know what it is. So uh, I think over the years, you know, more and more investors, they are turning to the uh, digital assets and digital assets becomes to uh, becomes one of the popular uh, investment options apart from, you know, shares, uh, commodities, uh, real estate or, or the funds. It, it's, it's like we buy the shares in the, in the stock market the reason we believe the share price is going to go up is because we have the strong confidence on the, on the company's future performance. And that confidence comes from our belief on the key advantages, such as you know, great business model or the uh, strong management team or the innovative technology, et cetera. So those are the key drivers of the share price. So 
same applies to the cryptocurrency. So personally, I'm a long-term investor and I believe uh, you know, the value of digital assets will continue going up and the development of technology, blockchain technology, will continue to drive um, cryptocurrencies price. Whoa. Thanks for that. You see, everyone, we've got our girl here and she's on our side. So tell us, Angela, how do you see the future of blockchain and cryptocurrency? I mean, what are the benefits blockchain and cryptocurrency can bring to us? Yeah, um, so I think definitely there are a lot of, um, you know, benefit that blockchain can bring to us, such as, um, you know, the universal access, global participation, or um, unable to modify, or, um, you know, the high transparency or the security. So cryptocurrencies as a digital currency that use a blockchain, used in the blockchain ecosystem has been adopted in many, many um, areas. And I believe that they would bring, you know, the fundamental change of future life. Um, a good example would be, you know, the decentralized finance, because I'm a finance person, so I'm very, excited to see, you know, the changes that blockchain can bring to the financial services. So decentralized finance um, is a new financial system that, that allows financial transactions such as, you know, transferring money or uh, getting a mortgage or earning an interest to be done without any, you know, um, the intermediaries such as banks. Um, so let's say we could also, you know, mention this example. So let's say you want to transfer the money from Australia to the UK. And for example, you, you would need to have intermediaries such as banks to help you process that transaction. And you got to pay them, you know, the um, operation cost. And that's, that's not cost effective. And sometimes you just lost the control. You just lost, completely lost control where the money went. So you, you have no idea. So in the future, if we transfer the money through the blockchain infrastructure, there wouldn't be any in intermediaries. So you, you have full control on your money and you can avoid cost and the whole process is trackable. So, and another good example would be, um, you know, the tokenized precious metal, let's say. So in the past, if you would like to invest precious metal, what you need to do, you need to hold the physical precious metal assets. And you would also need to consider, you know, the storage or the liquidities. But now we can tokenize the precious metal, which means that um, each of the token is backed by the real underlying assets. So uh, let's say you want to um, invest $100 worth of gold. Um, you don't need to buy the physical gold. Instead, what you can do is you can buy a token, go token that that token is backed by the blockchain technology yeah. with a digital proof of ownership. Mm -hmm. So nobody can steal the, the token from you, and you have full control of your over your token. And the whole process is is cheaper, is faster, is uh, is you know is easier, and you know without any of the limitation of the location, you can simply just do it anywhere in the world. That's so true. And, and I love that you've shared that because, and it's backing up what Vicky says, it, it just makes sense for how facile or how easy it is to get something from A to B without that middleman that you have to pay huge commissions to. Yeah. So that's perfect. So what's the value of Daxi coins in your, in your, in your opinion, um, what is the value of Daxi coins? What, you know, why Daxi coins are, why are they good assets to invest in the long term? Tell us. Yeah, sure. Um, so I, I think Daxi coin is a wealth building coins in the, in the Daxi economy. Um, so the value of Daxi coin is actually driven by the Daxi's innovative and successful uh, business model. So which is to help which is to help individuals build their financial securities through the unique opportunities. 
So Dexit's focus is always on the on the crowd and people and not selling, just selling, you know, the financial products or simply just creating a platform to collect the, uh, the seller and buyers. So we, we are actually in the process of building and developing the Dexy community and ecosystem. And Dexicoin are plays an important role in this process. It's Dexicoin is a utility coin in the community and all the transactions in the Dexy ecosystem, we'll be using Dexy coin in the future. And we also see you know, huge potential and massive demand for the crowdfunding from the small to medium businesses. So traditionally, when the, the company would like to um, you know, raise the capital, they need funding, uh, what they can do is they need to go to the bank or they need to you know, sell some of the equity to the shareholders in order to raise the capital. However, these this process isn't easy and it's not cost effective. So in the future, Dex's crowdfunding platform can help the companies to kind of solve this kind of um, you know, funding problem. For example, mm -hmm. a, a company can simply just issue their own token in Dex's platform to raise the capital. So Dex estimates this could include as many as 2 billion people worldwide and the market valuation is in trillions. So, so mm -hmm. I, I believe that those are, those are the factors that drive the growth of Dexicoin's value in the, in the long term. Wow. So everybody, go get your coins <laughs> because it's worth it. <laughs> thank you. Angela, thank you so much. Um, you're an amazing woman and very knowledgeable. You're our blockchain whiz. And we're in good hands with your financial expertise. And, and we're really really pleased that you are looking after us so i'm going to be catching up with you more and more on how the blockchain works because i think a little bird told me that there's a blockchain that's going to be very unique to daxi quite in the in the very near future so we'll be hearing from angela and people like angela in the future thank you angela bless you now Definitely, last but not least on my list of incredible women mm. is, is um, actually our powerhouse, my lady educator, mm -hmm. who is our wonderful Gisa Ellis. And I'm really pleased to have her here because I am actually passionate about education like she is. So Gisa is originally from Germany and she has over 25 years of international experience in business management, finance and IT. And she has this focus on the facilitation of change in various sized organizations from startups to industry leading corporations. And she's passionate about innovation and learning. Woohoo, gal off to my own heart. And Giza has been involved in developing e-learning and e-consulting platforms and solutions. Um, this was before joining the crypto industry as Daxi's Learn Director in 2021. So I am really pleased to have her here. And um, because as one of the Daxi um, uh, cl uh, clients who or customers, investors, who has a passion to be able to help other people understand um, about cryptocurrency through the Daxi platform um, and through the educational platform. Um, she's like my, my gal. I kept her last but not least to be able to um, share with you um, this, this wonderful lady. So on that note, I'm going to stop the screen share and present our beautiful Gisa to everybody here tonight. Mm. Thank you, Gisa, yeah. for being here. Yeah, thank you, Susan, for introducing me and hello for, uh, to everybody. It's a real pleasure to be here. I joined Daxi in April uh, 2021, and uh, which is really an, uh, as a global learn director, which is an absolutely exciting role. Um, and it's also a little bit nerve wracking because I'm actually stepping into some really big shoes here. Uh, I have the pr privilege, obviously, to work with Ed and Vicky, and both of them are extremely, obviously, not only passionate about crypto but uh, and about Daxi, but also about Learn. 
and learning and have um, a long term um, and very um, yeah, extensive experience in learning and education, both from a, a little bit of a different angle, you could say, which also um, fosters some uh, kind of robust discussion sometimes, which is great <laughs> actually, because um, we we always kind of find a middle ground. So, but I have to say, I have great uh, great respect uh, for and uh, for for their experience and for their passion and. Um, it is sometimes a bit nerve wracking to try to step into those shoes and deliver something uh, of value for Daxi and, and the Daxi customers. I have well, <laughs> I'm sure that you have got amazing shoes. So um, <laughs> uh, again, nothing like going shopping for good shoes. And I think they're all a good fit for you in the educational platform. Gisa, can you share with all, all of us how you actually view the state of education and learning in the crypto industry today. What needs to be changed? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, we all know that crypto is very confusing, especially when you come into, in the, into the market new as a newbie. Yep. <laughs> I remember when I was first introduced to um, crypto in 2017 by my far father-in-law at the time. And he actually said to me, oh, I heard about something really exciting. I don't know much about it, but it's, a, it's supposed to be really big and it's called Ethereum. And I thought, oh, wow, that's, that sounds great. So I was quite curious and I went into Google and got completely confused, obviously. And uh, it didn't stop me buying crypto, but um, it was obviously a gamble. And um, I think that that is actually, when people come into the market nowadays, it's actually even worse because there is so much information out there. Mm -hmm. the, the information is often misleading or conflicting, opinionated, and sometimes also completely outdated because the market is mo moving so fast. And anything in, with information and education is still very much targeted towards um, um, traders and, and speculators and not really to, um, for everyday people who want to invest, um, you know, in, in, in uh, crypto, you know. So I think it's really difficult for, for new people to know what, uh, you know, who to trust and what to believe and, and actually what to do. And for, therefore, I believe there's a real need for simple and structured and quality information uh, hmm. for everyday people who want to invest, who want to get involved and um, want to rather, as I said, rather invest and then, and then speculate. And I, I, I'm talking about um, education uh, that is um, builds confidence um, based on competence, you know, so that people yeah. get to the point where they can say, oh, hey, I feel, I feel like can, I get that now. I, I have some knowledge. I feel confident. I can go in the, into the market. I can do something, and um, I, I I feel I can make some uh, some great decisions, and and they they help me to move forward. And especially for women, I mean, let's face it, the majority of players in the market uh, are, are, nowadays are still men, and there's a real gap for women to step in, which is great. Um, so I think, and, and women, I think in general, are a little bit, um, struggle a little bit with their confidence sometimes when they are yeah. um, not so sure about their abilities yet, I, I, mm -hmm. I want to say. So I think that... Um, um, confidence building education is really important, um, especially for, for women as well. Yeah, thank you for sharing that with us, uh, Gisa, because I can actually, I can, I can totally associate with that. When I first started in July 2019, I, 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 I'd already been badly scammed. I was extremely nervous about um, getting into any form of trading or digital digital uh, uh, currency. And what really appealed to me, and that's before your time, but mm -hmm. it, even the structure of the educate, the simple educational platform that Daxi had created yeah. helped me learn. And, and, and also the backup of incredible fellow um, investors who took time to show me what to do. And again, that's what I love about Woman Who Crypto and about the Daxi platform is mm. there's, this, there's, it, there's this teamwork and, and this um, family. It, it's a big family thing. We've got mom and pop at the top there, or Vicky and, and Ed, who <laughs> are like the, 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 the creators of all of this and the, the, the mindset of 
how people need to understand the some the the um the daunting world of cryptocurrency in a very simple way because mm. once you do understand it it makes sense mm. so i love that you are here and you are actually doing this um for all of us so can you tell us a bit more about daxi learn and how you see education in the daxi um family in the Daxi learn platform how do you see it evolving because you're the boss lady of that <laughs> as I said I'm trying to fill some big shoes here <laughs> those are big shoes <laughs> but but you've got good shoes too I told you <laughs> oh dear <laughs> well um Daxi learn obviously is um is, is very much embedded in the overall Daxi vision um, to be the crypto wealth uh, building company. Um, and therefore um, at da with Daxi Learn, we really want to become the go-to and trusted partner for anything about education and crypto for crypto wealth builders. Uh, so, and when I, uh, look at Daxi Learn. Uh, Daxi Learn is very much based on the Daxi Wealth System, which was pioneered by Ed, and uh, it consists of four pillars, which is education, information, uh, inspiration, and support. So basically, we want to provide um, simple, structured, quality education for our customers, and we want to also. Um, provide information which is up to date so that our customers have always um the, you know are always at the at the pulse of the of of the new development uh, developments and um inspire you know inspire people with all the potential and the opportunities uh, in the crypto market and uh provide the right support so that people feel that they are not alone that there are people who care and uh and and that they're part of of this taxi um family um, on, on a very practical level, um, we have been so busy over the last few months and um, both Ed and Vicky were very much involved in, in, in that, um, uh, basically looking at uh, all the wealth of the learning tools and materials and assets that have already been there, but um, also building some more. So we, we, we did update a lot of courses. We, we did create some more courses, always with the aim in mind that it is a structured approach. So we want to um, provide an entry level for people who really need some, um, some help from when they just start in the market. And then when they can move on and they feel more confident, they can go to an intermediate level and then eventually they go to a mastery level, if you could say. So we have been working on those courses for different target audiences as well, because it's different whether you uh, create a course for someone like a, a retail investor or whether um, you create a course for, say, for example, financial, a financial professional person who wants to educate themselves about, about crypto. We have done a lot of, um, we have created a lot of video material, like how-to videos, so that people can visually experience what they, how they, how they engage on the, on mm. the, on the Daxi platform or the Daxi exchange, um, videos for subject matters, um, we want to create. Um, we we created some eBooks. We um, uh, want to extend our webinar series, and maybe you have seen that we have also started to do some surveys, which are very important. Um, so based on those, we are we're creating some educational report, inside reports, also um, in combination with external uh, surveys to really. Uh, provide some really, really great information for for all of you, um, and 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 uh, be valuable information. And all these assets and everything what we are creating and will create going forward, they will have a new home, you could say, soon, uh, which is uh, this uh, the digital learning um, management system, the digital learning platform, and where we want to create something. Um, almost like a hub which we can develop further in the future over time uh, and which which will home all these uh, all these um, these assets and all these these things we are we are cre cre creating and will continue to create always with the obviously with the focus in mind that the main focus is that we provide some that we provide value 
to you, to the customers, to the to people who want to come into the market, um, and and yeah, that and help you and and support you on your crypto journey, basically. Brilliant. Mm. Thank you for that, Gisa. So, um, what 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 I find um, listening to what you were saying and what you're recreating is mm. you are doing all these extra things, and at the same time, you're keeping things simple so that the woman that we are empowering in, let's say, the third world countries are able to be able to learn through your programs as well. So that's that's very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Can you outline the benefits of education and learning in crypto? I mean, for potential and existing customers, and in particular, women. Mm. Um, I think one of the main benefits, um, one of the main benefits is that Daxi is basically a go-to partner and is your trusted partner. So you don't have to go out into the market and stab around and see, you know, that you find someone um, who can uh, support you on your crypto wealth building journey and so on your investment journey. So Daxi is, is very much a trusted partner. And that's a very big benefit, I think. And another benefit, other benefits are that you gain through through the through Daxi and and through Daxi Learn. You 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 gain uh, clarity and competence and confidence. And I I really believe that um, when you are faced with very complex matters or complex information, and crypto is a complex subject, um, I think that creates or can create a lot of overwhelm uh, for mm -hmm. for for everybody. But I think specifically for women and. Um, overwhelm creates fear and then out of fear you feel reluctant to engage and then you kind of feel like mm, I missed out or I might miss out and then you jump in and you make you make maybe a wrong decision and you choose the right wrong opportunity so, absolutely yeah I was so, just thinking of Angela's friends who didn't know about Bit Bitcoin when she did <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly exactly but I think when you are guided when you're guided step by step into crypto um, and understand more, you will, you know, everybody and and will see that crypto is a very fascinating area, and it will get you actually quite quite um, quite hooked. And yeah. you know, specifically for women, I think we women we are a lot a lot of the times we're quite hard on ourselves. So we are kind of asking ourselves a lot of questions like, oh, can I can I do this? Um, do I know enough? you know, am I enough, all these things, you know, and I think that um, women um, need need a lot of more, um, how do you say, confidence to jump into something or feel that they have the ability and the knowledge. And I think that's really a benefit of these educational programs to build this confidence. And when they have the confidence, I think we as women, we are ready to jump in and be in, you know, do something and be committed and persistent and take the opportunities, especially when we see what we can change, you know, that, that, what how much um, um change we can create in our life and how much freedom and and um yeah and on a personal level i have to say i love to see uh a woman to be empowered and if i can make a contribution there um that makes me happy it really does oh, totally and and i'm very grateful that you feel this way i mean oh. the the passion behind the three women and and everybody listening to this the passion behind the three women um who have graced us with their presence tonight is not just uh fi finance etc like that the passion is the people and that is what i love about daxi as well because and woman who crypto it's about the people it's about the crowd and that is imperative it's a, it's something that we all must take in and understand so gisa um I would I I would like to ask you how you engage with Daxi Learn. I know that you're going to be able to follow up, so you'll be able to pop that in. So I'm going to cut to this short now, so that I can allow you to have the um, the actual uh, handle here. So thanks so much for sharing this massive passion you have for education, and I can't wait to see how education and your and the Daxi platform develops with your extensive knowledge and passion. So with that, I'm actually going to um, actually say thanks to Vicky, Angela and Gisa as I'm actually handing over the mic, so to speak. And Gisa will introduce Daxi's Learn course and what is planned. So thanks so much, 
uh, ladies. Thank you, Vicky, Angela, and Gisa, for taking precious time out of your schedules to be my special guests on Woman Who Crypto. And it's been an honor and a pleasure to share you and your stories here with everyone. And I, 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 I um, Vicky and Angela, they are way ahead of us in Kiwi land. So um, thank you for staying up late to chat to everybody as well. It's been really great. So with that, Gisa, um, I'm going to now hand over the, um, the, um, the facility for you to speak to everybody about the educational platform, which is an imperative part of what we all do. Um, I actually just tried to share my screen, but for some reason I can't. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what happened. Maybe Squid. We've got this amazing man in the background, two of them who are actually happen are helping. So I'm going to do that and let's see if we can. Can you try doing that? No, it just asked me. Okay. When I, no. Let's see. Can you do that? Nope. Hmm. Um, I wonder, Andrew, are you in the background there having a listen to this? Because... I don't see a facility here on my side. Are you the driver? <laughs> Apologies, ladies. Um, I can't uh, get Giza to share the screen. Hopefully she um, can find the location, but I can't um, do anything for you right now. Vicky. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Vicky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? Um, I send you that uh, that slide on on email. Maybe you could, if you can share, because I if I click on share, it just comes up with advanced sharing options, um, and nothing. Else. I've actually I've clicked on all panelists, so you should actually be able to share. So should everybody else. Well, maybe <laughs> I'll allow to people. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, I think I've got it. Cool. Yay! Can you see it? No. <laughs> Can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yes, I can. Yeah. So, um, well, I just wanted to, first of all, I wanted to say, um, and I think I, I can speak for, for um, Angela and, and Vicky as well. Thank you so much for having us here. I mean, it was absolutely awesome to have this opportunity to, to participate and to speak to you all. And what I would like to show to you is, um, as I said, we have created um, and updated uh, courses and created some other assets. And I really would like to encourage you to go on the link daxi.com forward slash learn crypto with a little, I can't read, I never, what's that name for that little thing in between my English? Dash. Learn, is that slash dash, dash, learn dash crypto. And um, you find um, a really um, nice um, course a video course um, for the which, which will teach you some of the basics in crypto and also how to engage on the uh, Daxi uh, exchange. I'm sure you find it really, really engaging and and also simple to use and uh, will give you some valuable information. And also, if you want to jump in and uh, learn about or read a bit more about crypto wealth, there's an ebook, and we are always here to help. Uh, all of us, um, we really want to support you on your journey uh, with crypto and through crypto and crypto investing. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email us on uh, via learn at daxi.com. Even if it's not uh, directly for learn, um, I will make sure that it will uh, get to the right um, station, you could say. And uh, we really look forward to hearing from you and to engage with you and um, be of you know be of value uh, for your for your journey and thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much Gisa appreciate it um I'm going to um log you out on this now if that's okay yes. and I am going to bring this up now for everybody to have a look at and this is what it is the next woman who crypto webinar is Thursday the 28th of October 7 p.m. AEST, that's a Brizzy time, Queensland, and 9 a.m. GMT, because I know a lot of people from the UK have popped on here as well. Um, 
Uh, Gisa, what, what, uh, what time, or maybe I should ask uh, Vicky or Angela, what time is 7 a.m. A, a p.m. Uh, <laughs> AEST in, in, in New Zealand? Nine o'clock, nine, nine, 9 p.m. Nine. Yeah, so thank you so much, everybody. And thanks once again to all the wonderful women. And guess who I'm going to show here? <laughs> thanks to the guys behind the scenes, Chris Tyson, head of sales at Daxi Australia, and our man here in Australia, Andrew Squillari. We all call him Squid. He's our crypto investor, team leader, and he works damn hard and cares about all of us here. So... Yet again, thank you. And if you're interested in joining the, joining the Woman Who Crypto movement and to find out more about cryptocurrency, please get back to the person who invited you to watch this webinar. And as a Dream Builder coach, I just want to end off here by saying to all you women in crypto, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. So good night, everybody. And thank you so much for being here. Do appreciate it. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, ladies. And thank also thank you to everybody for being here. <laughs> if you do have any questions, you know where to find Chris. He gave us his business card. We've got his email. <laughs> so <laughs> I see a lot of questions in here. And I know that Squid will be able to download them for us so that the, the Daxi amazing team can actually get back to you with the with the answers so thank you everybody yeah, thank you so thank much. you so much uh, good night good night, good night everybody bye, bye.